Hi, micro folks. This is Professor Carberry. We are doing a follow-up on our cabbage lactic acid fermentation. So I wanted to show you the plates, um, the cabbage juice we plated um, after um, 48 hours of incubation. So first of all, folks, we're going to compare. Um, this was our day one, um, day one sabarods dextrose um, cabbage and you'll recall that this selects for fungi so yeasts and molds and on day one we 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 saw a lot of kind of mucoid growth there were some these beautiful kind of pink pink and purple colonies some an orange colony white colony so a great variety of um, microbes were growing on day one this is the cabbage and the salt and then this was after 48 hours of incubation and we can see we don't have quite the diversity. We've lost some of those beautiful um, pink and um, purple colonies. We don't have the orange colony there. So we do have some kind of selection going on. And again, I need to get into the lab to do the gram stains to see if we've got molds or yeasts or both growing here. Now, unfortunately, the TSA plates um, from day one, <laughs> this is actually kind of cool biology. Um, I think some fruit flies got in there and fruit flies laid their eggs in the TSA plates and the, um, the eggs hatched and now we have all these little maggots running around <laughs> the TSA day one plates which to me is really cool. I, I love stuff like this. Um, but the little fruit fry larvae, they'll, they'll eat yeast for sure. So I guess we were lucky that they only got into the um, TSA plate not the Sabra's dextrose plate. So I don't have very good day one plates to show you but I do have our day three TSA plates to show you. So here's our, um, this would have been after 48 hours of incubation. So this was our negative control. This was our no salt aerobic. And over here, this was 48 hours in the cabbage plus salt aerobic. All right, and the negative control cabbage with no salt, the pH was 67. And the um, cabbage with salt aerobic was pH 4. So I think we did indeed have some lactic acid fermentation going on um, with the, the um, cabbage and salt. Um, indicated by the drop in the pH, or at least we're presuming it's lactic acid fermentation. And then, folks, what I wanted to show you, um, now it's day, goodness sakes, this is like um, day, day five, I believe. So this is Wednesday. And I wanted to, just to show you the appearance of the cabbage. So this is our negative control. Um, no salt and aerobic and you can see that the cabbage is starting to to oxidize and rot it's turning brown right probably getting a little bit slimy so as humans we probably wouldn't want to eat this right not very appealing um, and and again we'll do some culturing to see what kind of microbes are growing in here and then al although you guys I was kind of pleasantly surprised I, it does smell like there's some lactic acid fermentation going on in there, right? So we probably have a mixed microbial community and, and some of the some of the cabbage is starting to rot. And then next we have in our aerobic with salt, um, again you can see the, the salt creating the hyperosmotic environment. We get a net movement of fluid um, from inside the plant cells to outside. So that created a, a liquid environment that was probably at least a little bit um, anaerobic down here at the bottom. So you can see it's not rotting as much. Maybe the cabbage up at the top where air was present is starting to look oxidized and kind of kind of rotten. And again, if I take a big whiff, that smells like sauerkraut, right? It has that nice, to me, what's a really nice lactic acid aroma. Okay, so that's our um, aerobic cabbage plus salt. And then the third aerobic one, folks, was when we added excess water to the cabbage. We didn't add salt, so this was just water. This was testing to see if just an anaer um, anaerobic environment, which the, the excess water would create, if that would help preserve the cabbage. And you can see that it's looking really nice. Um, there's some darkish discoloration going on here, um, but it's it looks much better than the negative control, right? And again, it, um, it smells like there's lactic acid fermentation going on there. So that's really neat. So again, folks will take samples from this like day five fermentation and plate those. I've run out of sab plate, so I need to go resupply. And then in addition, folks, on an, um, another video, we'll be looking at the anaerobic 
um, the cabbage with and without salt that we kept anaerobically, we'll be plating it, gram staining it. And then one more thing, folks, um, it's like if we really want this um, experiment maybe to be a little bit more meaningful, it'd be nice if we had data like numbers. So I think in a separate video what we'll do is we'll show you how to do serial dilutions. And um, serial dilutions and plating is a way for us to be able to actually um, estimate the concentration of bacteria and fungi in each of our cabbage prep. So that'll be a, that'll be a separate movie. Okay folks, I think that does it.